promise me you won't look at the couch. Don't even comment on it. Just trust me. There's nothing going on over there. Hey, what's up guys? Keaton here. Boop, boop. I'm becoming an air traffic controller. Trust me. So I can't believe this. Nokia made a new Nokia 3310. And you're probably saying to yourself, dude, this phone looks like it's from the 90s. Is this this phone you're talking about? This is one of the first Nokia 3310s. You guys probably know it. If you're a 90s kid like me, you probably own this thing. It's so durable. It's crazy. They made a new one, but here's the deal. I bought a fake and I didn't know about it. So now that I have a real one, here's how to spot a fake. Oh yeah, we broke it. No, we definitely broke it. Nope, we didn't. We're good. See so yeah, you guys, this right here is how to spot a fake Nokia 3310 from a real one. And usually I don't really think I care about a Nokia 3310, but it's crazy. This phone came from the 90s. Like I even own one of these, but they made a new one and I want to check it out and see what's cool about it. But what's crazy is they're actually making fakes for this thing. Who would have ever thought that I would want a fake Nokia 3310 or any of you guys for that matter? I don't even know. So I'll put links down below for the real one here. So in case you guys are new to the series, if you haven't seen like the fake iPhone 7 versus the real one, the Galaxy S8 fake versus the real one, this thing's crazy, and if you haven't seen it, make sure you subscribe. But everything you can tell on a fake versus real usually is shown on the box. So this is the fake Nokia 3310, and this is what I honestly got scammed in. I saw this, and I'm like, all right, yep, seems legit. Wasn't legit. This is the real one here. And they got a lot of different pictures, graphs, fun stuff. This just has a picture of the phone. This has the jazz. And let me tell you, you want the jazz. Jazz hands. You want more fun stuff, more fun colors. Like, you got someone's tongue on the box. Like, that's just a fun time. This ain't a fun time. No one wants this. This ain't even good. Who wants a fake Nokia 3310? Like, really, bro? It's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. On the back here, you can see the fake one. Honestly, it looks like an AT&T box. Like, I don't know why I'm thinking that. Same colors and everything. This is the real one. You guys can just see it. So we're going to open up the fake one first. I just want to show you guys how weird this is. Like, who wants a fake? All right, so you see? You get the phone right here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this thing looks pretty big. And you're going to see in a second, it's not that big. The real one ain't that big. Here's the old one. So you guys can see like it's a pretty decent size like this just feels like a TV remote I don't really know and look at the buttons here. All right, so what else you get in the box you get just a power adapter I don't even know is that nope that it's not for the US Maybe for the UK fam. I don't really know. Let me know in the comments and that's pretty much it So this is what came with the thing it might vary. you guys might pick up a different one You might even get an extra case or something here is the real one. So when you open it up you see the phone, there's no sticker on it. At least the one that I got didn't have a sticker. This one has a wax sticker and I'll talk about that in a second. So what else you get is some real like paperwork. Like no one reads this stuff, but hey, this is what you need to know if you get a legit one. You need to look for the paperwork, you need to look for it. And then you get just another travel adapter, charge it, whatever. And the big thing here is you get headphones. That was like the big thing that I picked up on. I was like, all right, if you're getting headphones, you're chilling. They're just basic headphones, whatever. I guess fake people, you can throw some headphones in there. You can fool me, but you're about to see how weird this is compared to this. So this sticker on here on the fake, it looks pretty weird. And how you can tell the real one from the fake one is just look right now. This one's a lot glossier than this. It's got kind of more of like a matte finish. And when you flip it over, you can see like this one just, it shines more. That's the best way to look for it here. And also look at this. I'm the Nokia captain now. No, seriously, look at this. This one's smaller than this one. So legit, they made this probably before they even knew a real one existed or even had one. I don't know, unless you see this video, you might think this is the real size. Nope, it's shiny, it feels good, and it's actually smaller. So when you're on the front here, the sticker's throwing me off. Why does it say after carving? What, is there a built-in knife here? Did, in the fake one, do I become Obi-Wan Kenobi? Start slashing everyone from Star Trek? So when you turn them on, you see a Nokia screen on this one. This one looks more normal than this. This just sounds better. It sounds more trap and dubstep. Like, you could throw this in a song and it would work. This just feels like they took the same sound from the 90s version here. I just wanna like throw this thing. Check out like the ports. So when you go to the bottom here on the fake, you have your micro USB port to charge this thing. 
on the real one, all you had is a headphone jack. Shout out to you, Nokia. You didn't pull an apple here. Like, I appreciate you, bro. But when you flip it to the top on the real one, you're gonna see the charge port. That is like a dead giveaway right there. And then we flip it on the back. The camera looks the same. It's smaller on this because the phone's smaller. But you gotta look for like the glossy. It's glossy, it's shiny. And because you guys are gonna wanna know how durable are these things, I don't even know. They feel a lot more fragile than like this brick right here. You can throw this, you can drive over with the car, and it's still gonna be good. So I wanna actually destroy one of these things. Drop a like on this video if you guys want it. Comment down below letting me know how you guys want me to destroy this. Go crazy. If you want me to get a gun, I'll shoot this thing. Put in the top, comment down below. But bro, we gotta know how durable this thing is. On the buttons here, you can see there's not that much of a light. And if there is a light, it's blue. I don't know if you guys can see that too well. On the real one though, the buttons are smaller. They're actually like put into the phone. They're not like standing out and protruding like on the real one here. So the light on here is like actually white. So white light versus that blue light. So with these fake phones, it all comes down to like how it actually looks. I'm gonna hit the menu on both and you guys can see how much cleaner it looks. You can see messaging is in purple. Any app you hover over, the text is actually, did I say purple? It's orange. The weird's got me. The fake one has got my mind tripping. I don't even know my colors at this point. I got snake pulled up on both here. Oh, that's like, it looks more fun. It's more fun on here. You got a snake. This is a two-handed job. And let me tell you, I cannot do this two-handed job. But can I even get one? Oh, I got one. Nope, we're at two. You can see this one's a lot more fun than this one. This is just some old stuff that you find on the old. No, I'm not even gonna put the phone down. I'm gonna get one. No. Yes, I got one. We did it. This is the real one. It looks a lot better. The fake one just looks like trash. So last up, I almost threw the phone, is the camera. So the new 3310s have cameras. The old one doesn't. I didn't actually think I'd want this phone, let alone want it with the camera, but we got it. I wanna see how good it is on the real one compared to the fake. This is gonna be interesting. So I'm just gonna fire up the camera tab here. Always have to unlock this thing. I don't like it. Oh, this looks way better on this. I don't even think you can see this one too well. Like the screen isn't even that good. Look from the fake video here. All right, I'm gonna take a phone, a photo, a phone. Of, I'll take a picture with this one here. Like it just looks bad on the screen. It just looks like it's from this phone. Like if this phone had a camera, the old 3310. Okay, on the real one, I have a, oh, that looks way better. You can actually tell the phone's yellow. Whoa, that's crazy. Oh, it even gives you a nice click. That actually looks like a really good photo. You can even share it on this phone. Like, of course, it's the 2017 3310. It's smart. Yes, this is awesome. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this weird Nokia 3310 fake versus real video. Thank you so much, Max Tiger and Jubar, for having my notifications on. If you guys want a notification shout out, turn on my YouTube notifications and let me know in the comments. You're gonna wanna do that because you're probably saying, Keaton, what's on the back of the couch there? It's going up on Sunday. Trust me, it's gonna be weird. You're gonna wanna be the first to get there. Subscribe if you're new and tweet me at TechSmart if you guys find any other weird gadgets. Just wait till Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. New York's been really awesome. We're in Hell's Kitchen right now. I met this random New yeah! York. <laughs> it's been awesome. Where are we, Midtown? Hell's Kitchen? Something like that.